Hello, Joel Tubman here from Golf Monthly, and today we're talking about the new TaylorMade P790 iron. Now, this is the fourth iron launch within this P700 series. We've seen the P730 blade moving up to the 750, 770, and now the 790. Now, we know the number in the name stands for the blade length from heel to toe in millimeters, so the 790, obviously, as the name suggests, is the largest iron within the, the four sets. But TaylorMade have done something a bit different with this iron. They wanted to create an iron that produces the distance of forgiveness of more of a cavity back iron, but with the feel of a muscle back iron. It certainly looks more like a muscle back iron. You can see here from the back, it's got a very clean kind of metallic look to it. There's no cavity visible here behind the face. But the way they've done that is through inserting what they call something called speed foam through the toe. It actually goes in as a liquid, but then expands four times the size behind the face. And that's designed to dampen the vibration, so give you a softer feel but also support the face. In fact, actually the, the face would be non-conforming if there was no speed foam there. So you've got the speed pocket here on the sole, which is gonna give you more distance from a wider area, especially lower on the face. You've got tungsten in the, in the toe section here to stabilize the face on those off-center hits. So loads of different materials used to construct this iron. TaylorMade say it's one of their best performing irons they've ever made. It's a forged club, so that should help give you a slightly softer feel along with that speed foam as well. Now, luckily I've been having a hit with it over the last few weeks on my GC2 launch monitor. Before we go on to the number side of it, let's think about the looks of this club and also the sound and feel because the sound and feel are uh, significantly different to anything you probably experienced before. Down by the ball it's kind of got a generous top line, quite a wide sole to help forgiveness through the turf, hint of offset there but kind of similar to your shallow cavity max, things like your i200 uh, from ping, things like that, so generally playable for a wide spectrum of golfers. I've seen some reviews already online saying this is the best feeling and sounding tailor-made iron ever made. I'm not sure I agree with that. I think they've got a bit carried away, to be honest. For me, it definitely contributes to what I would call kind of a soft, muted feel, but also quite a loud, clicky sound. It's an interesting combination that TaylorMade have produced. Don't get me wrong, it feels absolutely fantastic of the sweet spot. You know, if it goes off a rocket, really lively, hot face. When you really catch it, you know, it definitely sends it out there. But for me, that combination was a little bit odd. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I'm still yet to be sold on that. Could I play this iron in terms of sound and feel? Yes, definitely. So I think it's going to divide opinion a bit or just take some getting used to anyway. Uh, moving on to the numbers, I've got the 7 iron here, loft of 30.5 degrees. So it's quite strong actually for what is essentially not quite a game improver, but not like a better player. It's kind of in between those clubs. Those lofts would suggest that it is more towards your game improver club. Normally a game improver iron, a cavity back iron, is around that 30, 31 degrees of loft for a seven iron, whereas traditional muscle back irons are around the 34 degrees. So this is definitely a lot stronger than those type of irons. I've got it in the new Dynamic Gold 105 shaft. It's a new shaft launched recently by True Temper in the S300 Flex. So let's have a look at the numbers and see what performance we've got with this seven iron. Okay, so I've got the numbers on my phone here for the TaylorMade P797i, like I mentioned before, 30.5 degrees of loft. Um, it's interesting, TaylorMade say that the P790 should actually launch higher than the P770, even though the lofts are considerably stronger. Uh, and surprisingly enough, I did get a surprisingly high launch with this club, launching at 20 degrees, which is pretty high for a 7-iron, and peaking at 38 yards. Again, that's pretty high for a 7-iron of this loft. Uh, that's going to give you some extra stopping power into the greens. We've got ball speed of 124 miles an hour, which is very impressive, and then average carry distance of 181 yards. I saw it was rolling out to about 186, 187. So there's no question this is going to give you some excellent distance. It feels very explosive off the face. Uh, but what I like, actually, is the dispersion was surprisingly tight so that ball speed was maintained across a wide area look at that grouping there it's very very tight indeed didn't have to delete many gross miss hits on my data found it to be really really easy to hit given its relatively compact size actually what I like about this club also is the stock shaft for me I've struggled to get hold of the dynamic gold uh, super light which is my favorite shaft uh, I've used for a while. It kind of gives you that stiffness, but in a lighter weight shaft. And what this Dynamic Gold 105 did for me, while it is only the S300, I felt like that was kind of a much closer match to that spec of shaft for me. And that just gave me a little bit more control, I think, uh, in the weight that I prefer. It also helped with the ball speed as well, and maybe a little bit of extra launch angle. So really impressive from TaylorMade. To sum up, I'd say the looks of this club are absolutely fantastic. 
think the sound and feel might take a bit of getting used to for some, but generally uh, most people will like it. It's very unique. It's a fantastically powerful, hot, lively feeling iron off the face. Very forgiving from a wide area around that sweet spot. I think game improvers will really be licking their lips here because they've got a club that looks great in the bag. It looks like a player's iron, but it's going to give you the same distance you might get from a much chunkier iron. So you can actually switch down to maybe a more playable iron. You can hit maybe more different shots with this, um, but also without losing out on that launch, that ball speed or that distance or forgiveness. So a really excellent all round package here from TaylorMade. Comes in at £1,049 for a seven piece set, I think. So it's a lot of money, but there is an awful lot of technology and performance packed into this club. Uh, and it's certainly going to turn a few heads for all the right reasons. So definitely going to get the envy of your playing partners if you've got a set of these in your bag. So if you're in the market for a new set of irons, the Patelamade P790, definitely one you should be trying in 2017.